Hi everyone, my name is Kobe Jerus. I'm 19 years old, I live in Belgium and I'm currently in my second year of getting my bachelor's degree in media and entertainment business. As a student, you use PDFs frequently, but as a media student, you use them all the time. As a student, I'm constantly looking for new tools in order to make my student workflow as efficient and smooth as possible. And one of the main things I'm struggling with lately is handling PDFs. Everyone uses them, but I always felt like they lack so much flexibility. And that's where Wondershare High PDF comes into play. High PDF is the perfect online solution to handle all of your possible needs and enables you to work PDFs quick, simple and efficient. As a student and young business owner, I always find myself wishing I had more time or money but mainly time. High PDF enables me to do just that. By saving time on handling files and doing my boring but important schoolwork, I have more time to focus on doing things I enjoy. Using High PDF makes PDFs way less time consuming and way more efficient, even more fun. Let me show you the seven key features where High PDF comes in handy. Imagine you're in your first class of the school year. You zoned out and suddenly, class is over and you didn't hear a single word the professor said. Relatable, right? Luckily, the professor posts his notes online as a PDF and you want to download it and turn it into a Word document in order to take notes in the future classes. Don't worry, High PDF has got you covered. So you simply go to the High PDF site, you go to PDF to Word, you press it, you choose your file, click convert and here you go. Once you download it, open with Word, you have your document in the entire Word software. Let's say a buddy asks you to check his essay for spelling mistakes. He sends you a PDF file that's full of mistakes that you need to correct. You download the file, but you have no way of correcting the actual words inside the file. The closest you can get is making a separate Word document and listing all of the mistakes you made. Save yourself all that trouble and just do it online. Simply open the file in high PDF and correct all of his mistakes inside the document itself. So again, we're in the home page. You go to edit PDF, you choose your file. You check to see if it's the right one and you can just add some text over here. You can drag this to wherever you need it to be you can type some more let's say essay correction there we go you can add an image if you want to you can add a shape if you want to make an arrow you can as well possibilities are endless you can even add your own signature if you want to then you just hit save again and you're good to go. One time I had a school assignment that was worth 50% of my grade for the entire year. So I knew I had to pass. The assignment was to make a poster for an event that I created. So I made the poster and went to my local print shop two days before the deadline. And he told me they always optimize the colors in every printing assignment they do and that that process only works in the JPEG file. I barely made the deadline by using some impractical workarounds that took me so much time. But ever since I came across high PDF, it's always my go-to when I have a poster to make. Simply choose the PDF to JPEG function. You choose your file here we go you can select the format in which you want it to be exported let's say just a simple PNG you click convert and there you go have you ever made an essay that was full of links and pictures and had so much pages that made your file size huge I don't know about your school's digital platform but mine allows my professors to set maximum file sizes so the compressing feature comes in handy when I don't want to delete anything from my essay but just make the file size smaller this tool has saved me over and over and over and over and you get the idea over here you press the compress PDF function you choose your file let's say my essay again you want it high compressed less quality you can choose medium good compression good quality or low less compression and keep the high quality hit compress you wait you hit download and here you go my handwriting sucks whenever I make handwritten notes even if I take my time I can barely read them let alone study them most of the time I even write too slow to really capture the essence of what my professor is saying in that class so I end up rewriting my notes 99% of the time digitally the JPEG to PDF PDF tool is an amazing feature to use in this case. IPDF allows me to simply take a picture of my note, turn it into a PDF and summarize my notes on the same page and way more structured. You hit the OCR function that's over here, you choose your file, you choose your language and the output format in which you want it to be exported, submit and hit convert. Hit download and you can edit your JPEG as a PDF. One other thing I hate is when my professor posts the class schedule as a PDF because I always have to print them out in order to change anything about it until I discovered the PDF to Excel function high PDF offers. I can now convert the file and adjust anything I want from the layout to any changes in the actual schedule. I can even add my personal schedule on there as well. You get the full flexibility you'd have with a normal Excel file because it is one. The PDF to Excel function you can find over here. Choose your file again. There you go. Edit no OCR. Choose your language and just hit convert and you've turned your PDF completely into an editable Excel file again. And then the last feature I want to go over basically combines all of the previous ones. Let's say you used every feature I mentioned in this video on very different files but for the same class and you want to make
make a summary to use for studying for one of your exams in a structured and organized way. You can just combine all of your PDFs into one single file, it's really easy. The merge PDF function you can find over here, you simply press it, you choose all your files you want to be you want to convert into one big file you open them all give it a few seconds then you hit merge and there you go one big pdf file with all of your files inside of them personally i love high pdf it made me spend less time on technicalities allowing me to focus on the stuff that's actually important like the actual notes and homework and you can be part of this too go to highpdf.com giveaway get your link share it make your friends sign up and just get rewards together it's perfect for students who are wasting hours weekly simply because they don't know this tool exists anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you learned something new and i'm curious to hear your thoughts on the software take care